Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, I got the Velez 29 here, and um, I got some Corrosion X. Uh, I'm going to do a little experiment, you guys. I, I want to show you guys how well this Corrosion X works, okay? Uh, if you if you own an RC boat, you're thinking about getting into boat and hobby, or you have bashers, uh, or a one-to-one -one boat, and you, you know, you're having issues with water in your electronics, your chipboards, uh, switches, Corrosion X actually works good on RC boat motor bearings okay i've had no loud bearings since i've been putting corrosion x in my bearings i'll just take the corrosion x on my bearing right here a light little zets like that okay and it works great corrosion x it prevents corrosion okay no more loud bearings since i've been using it in my bearings i hadn't had a receiver go bad in over a year and a half since i've been using corrosion x i spray it on the chipboard inside my servo Okay, I've sprayed Corrosion X in my GPS, sprayed it here and sprayed it there. Thing gets soaking wet. I've had it totally submerged in salt water. Okay, 100% submerged in salt water and it still freaking works. It's wet right now. All right, uh, I've taken a couple of my remotes, some of these cheap STX2 remotes to come with ready to run. I used to run my trucks in the rain. So I've taken these apart, sprayed the chipboard with that, the dials around the dials, sprayed that with the Corrosion X. Um, I'm thinking about taking the, the DX5 rugged apart and spraying this with Corrosion X. Um, it works good. It works really good for, for waterproofing electronics all right so i'm actually going to take this receiver and put it in the water okay i got batteries in my boat we're going to put it in the water and see if it works underwater okay i get my boats soaking wet um a lot of guys are like oh b why don't you tape up your boat oh you got water in your boat um the only the only thing i worry about in my boats getting wet is my speed control that's it uh, these speed controls, nine times out of ten, are sealed up. Okay, they're sealed, and you can use Corrosion X on a speed control. Okay, this is a cheap generic speed control. I sprayed Corrosion X in the speed control in the heat shrink here, and um, I used to just run them like that. And uh, I've actually had a few of them. I think the heat when they get hot, they cool down. They get hot, they cool down. The Corrosion X actually loses some of its. Um, it's or may just like wash off i don't know but what i've started doing with my escs i'll take the corrosion x spray it in there like i said and then i'll seal up the end with silicone okay a lot of guys use conformal coating and and dielectric grease and all that but you know i don't i don't i don't i i i, I use corrosion x and that's it that's all it takes so i got the camera set up here all right and uh, as soon as we do this i'll let you guys go so it's working all right you guys see the propeller rudder's working all right all right so let's put the receiver i've already sprayed it let me just spray a little more all right so all i do i don't even break it open i just spray some corrosion x in the receiver not even that much and you know i'll i'll, I'll do it every four months or so all right so that's what i'll do i'll spray it in the receiver and i and i i'll treat it like i said every three or four months if that if that you know um so let's put it in the water all right it's completely submerged in water you guys see that look at that all right you tell me you tell me okay you tell me you tell me all right you tell me Okay, <laughs> all right, so let's pull it out. Dump all the water out. All right, so, uh, you know, I've had a lot of questions here lately regarding waterproofing in a boat, and I figured that's the best way to do it, okay? Uh, I may make another video here shortly, and we'll dump, we'll dunk a, a servo in the water after treating it with Corrosion X. And maybe one of those little cheap micro servos, you know? So that's basically all I do, you guys. That's all I do, man. I s spray that Corrosion X in there. Now, uh, now I, I guess I need to warn you. If you get Corrosion X on these wires... You get too much of it on the wires now it will make your wires kind of hard that's the only downfall 
Okay, so don't really want to get Corrosion X on like a plastic hull. Okay, it may make it brittle, but the wires they do get a little hard. I haven't had any like um like break, you know, but they just get stiff. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this helps you guys out, you know, with your build, with your boat, with your basher, with your one to one boat, you know. Um I stand by that corrosion X man. I, I stand by it one hundred freaking percent, you guys. One hundred percent. Okay. We'll see you guys next time. Big B with Ironclad RC. Uh don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel.